two mothers. As you can see, it was weaned on a wire mother. Here's baby 106. Watch. He's going to the wire mother. He's got to eat to live. Going back. He's back on the cloth mother and he'll stay on the cloth mother. Now in this experiment, this is the apparatus we use. That looks diabolical. That's just the way the baby monkey feels about it. Flashing eyes, loud sounds, moving mechanical parts, all of these things are designed to frighten a monkey. Now here we have a peaceful, resting baby monkey. Let's find out what his reactions to his mother are when we frighten him. all right and he does what any child will do in a similar situation he runs away it's more than running away he was running to his mother to touch her to drive away his fear contact with the mother changes his entire personality look now he's actually threatening the diabolical object all right this gives us part of the picture of the strength of infantile love. This is a six foot square room with a few toys and other objects. But to the monkey, it's much more menacing. No mother is in there. Now, let's put a monkey into the room. Notice how cautiously he enters the room. He's searching for comfort, but nothing relieves his disturbance. Now we'll take the baby monkey out and put in a wire mother. Now this one was nursed by a wire mother. That's right, all his life. She doesn't seem to help much. Now, we'll try the same test with a cloth mother in the room. You see the contrast in the behavior? Despite the fact that the wire mother nursed him, she could offer this infant nothing in the way of affection or security. But here the monkey, by rubbing against the cloth mother, as if he were seeking as much contact comfort as he could get, builds up his reservoir of affection and security. First his body relaxes as the fear disappears. But above and beyond this, new positive response patterns appear. He now goes out to explore and investigate this new, strange world. He is now a normal, happy, curious baby. <laughs>